What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the Empire's SMP and everything that has happened on it in the last couple weeks and it has actually been a lot. A lot of new builds have happened and even some super interesting lore has been going on so definitely a very fun episode today. If you enjoy it be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button as well so you can see all the rest of our Minecraft content. First up today, we are checking out Mythical Sausage, who has been working on a brand new castle build. This is, of course, a huge addition to the Mythland Empire. He has a ton of builds throughout his empire, a lot of smaller builds, but this is his first mega build in the empire. This thing is absolutely massive, and it's still got a long way to go, but so far it is looking extremely cool. I love all the spires and everything that he has on the roof. It looks absolutely amazing, especially with the combination of blocks with the mossy blocks down in the bottom. Definitely should be a very cool castle build when it's finished and really complete the look of Mythland. Before we go too deep into existing empires though, there is a brand new empire on the server and this was actually built for the Love Tropics charity stream. So a few of the people on the server got together, including Pearl, Mythical Sausage, and Flip and some others, and they built this new empire based off donations in the charity stream. I think this was a brilliant idea to raise money for Love Tropics, they always do an annual Minecraft event. And so it's really great to see that this server is coming together to do some charity streams as well. Flip has also added a brand new section to his mega base. This thing is absolutely huge. I'm loving the look of it so far. Uh, but he decided he actually wanted to be able to fly to do this. And since Scott was the emperor and had a no fly rule, he went to try and barter with him. Fortunately, Scott threw the crown down, but then Smallish Beans actually flew in and took the crown, making himself the emperor. That still ended the no-fly rule, however, and Flip was able to get a lot done on his empire. Before that rule ended, however, though, he did build up this huge railroad, which I think looks magnificent, and even though the rule isn't in effect anymore, he does still have this beautiful railroad up in his empire. Jim Nate has also started work on a mega base over in her empire. She is working on a school of magic, so she will actually be able to teach other people on the server magic in this brand new wizard school. I think this is a great route for her to take when building a mega base. It'll definitely be very helpful for all the lore and everything that's happening on this server. It has already actually been put to use, even though it's not complete, because Jim was trying to help Scott control his new powers. Unfortunately, Unfortunately though, that ended up with Scott leaving to a whole brand new section of the server. Scott's empire has been getting colder and colder and he wasn't to control the new ice magic that he has. So as you can see there are ice spikes forming and this wasn't even as bad as it started to get. The rivers froze, everything started to freeze around him and he can't seem to thaw it out. So of course he went to Jim for help since she runs the school of wizardry and actually ended up freezing everything in the room and hurting Jim and himself. So he placed the Zornoth crystal down inside of his base, hoping that nobody would find it while he's gone, and then he went off to make a cabin far, far away from everybody so he wouldn't hurt anybody else. This should definitely turn into a very interesting storyline, and I'm very excited to see where they decide to take this on the server. Pixel Rifts has also been doing a ton of work on his empire. The Ant Hill has gotten a huge upgrade. It is now super tall, and there's even some stuff going on on the inside of it. I'm super impressed by this block combination on the Ant Hill. All the combination of woods and everything, yet it still looks like different types of sand. I also love the entrance with all the dripstone and everything. He's really tied it in to the rest of Pixandria. His empire as a whole is coming along super nice. I love all the details that are going on here. There is just so much going on as you can see especially with the little gardens that he's placed everywhere. Even the pathways are just super detailed with coarse dirt, dripstone blocks, and so much more. Definitely one of my favorite empires so far. Solidarity has also been doing a ton of work. This build right here was actually so he could earn the ability to fly while Scott was still the Emperor. Uh, he of course did this build so he got one of the fly passes from Scott and then he immediately threw it away as soon as he found out that Smallish Beans was the new Emperor on the server. He's also been doing a ton of work recently to collect heads on the server. Catherine Elizabeth had the most heads on the server at I think 94, but he wanted to have more heads than her so he started collecting and asking other people on the server if they would give him some of the heads. He ended up getting I think a total of 96 heads, which is a ton. They are all unique, 
some are mini blocks, and he's making a whole room dedicated to these heads. Besides becoming the new emperor, Smallish Beans has also been doing a ton of work on the Mazalia Kingdom. First, he started off by actually landscaping the whole outside of this place, adding in some trees, some flowers, everything like that, and then he started work on the actual interior of this base, and this has been one of my favorite projects so far, seeing this whole base come together, the roof, especially the huge domes up there, but now the interior is starting to come together as well. He did the whole entranceway, and you can really see how much room he is working with in here. This is definitely going to take a long time to finish off, but I'm really loving where it's going so far. He's including all the colors on the inside as well. This green and purple combination looks insanely good together, especially with the spruce to border it all. As far as terracotta and concrete projects go, this is definitely one of the best I have ever seen. The combination of colors is just so unique and so good, and the build itself looks absolutely amazing. LD Shadow Lady has been doing some interesting work as well. This is the inside of one of her towers in her empire, and she was having some problems with drown spawning inside of it, so she decided to decorate up the inside of it with some sea pickles and some sunken boats, of course some magma, things like that, and really made this whole area look really cool. This isn't a part that many people will see, but it is a very cool section of her base. One of my favorite parts that she did was actually the sinking of the boats. I think that is such a genius idea to sink boats down here. I've really never seen anybody use these boats as decoration before, so it's great seeing this in her empire, where it just fits in so well, considering she's even built some sunken boats herself around the empire. Besides that, she also built a brand new dock where she is offering ocean tours. She will allow people to hop in these boats and then she'll give them a tour around the ocean parts of the server. Not only is this tour super informative, shows you some interesting areas such as the first campground of the Mazali King, but it is also filled with some amazing jokes all written up by LD Shadow Lady herself. All of that red sandstone was mined from right here in the Mesa. Now that's groundbreaking. Oh, Jesus. Oh, All right, Help moving us. along, follow me. The puns only get better from there, so I highly recommend you go and check out her video so you can see the full tour and everything else that happened on the tour. You may notice that everybody is also wearing Smallish Bean's head, and this is actually the new rule that went into effect when Smallish Bean stole the crown. So now everybody actually has to wear his skull, which he's actually added the crown onto as well, so everybody knows he is the emperor. This of course is a little troubling for Solidarity since he does have the curse of binding on his cod head. He will actually have to kill himself before he can actually put this head on. That is pretty much everything that has happened so far on the Empire's SMP though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We not only cover Empires and Hermitcraft, but also some of the best mega bases out there. So definitely stick around and check out the rest of our content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.